What's up everybody, this is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue, and what I'm going to be doing is a Jamaican jerk glaze. It can be used on fish, chicken, beef, you could use it wherever you want. I was kind of inspired by this, uh, you know, I was uh, doing a Jamaican jerk chicken and I was following a recipe uh, by just a cook, I don't remember specifically who it was, but when I cooked it, you know, I mean, it kind of tasted okay. But I was like, man, you know how much better that would taste is like a barbecue, not a barbecue sauce, but like a glaze that you can kind of slap on something. So I made a little small batch, turned out great. So that's what we're going to knock out today. So let's take a look and see what these ingredients are. Our ingredients we are rolling with today is going to be some Chinese five spice. We have some cinnamon, ground cloves, some rosemary thyme, Jamaican allspice. I have some brown sugar obviously I have the jalapenos or scotch bonnet peppers however you wanna refer to them as I can't tell a difference I just think they're the same thing so tell me if I'm wrong anyway I have some uh, green onions I have some ginger paste down there I am going with some soy sauce you need to shop at your Asian markets I got that big old bottle of soy sauce for $1.50 Instead of orange juice, we are going to be using this orange marmalade right there. That's going to be kind of a thickener. We have some honey, vinegar, and then salt. I have some leftover red onions. We're going to use the rest of those. And I will be using a little canola oil. So those are going to be our basic ingredients. I am going to kind of get prepped up a little bit and we will pick it up then start with is I start with my dry ingredients so I already have a measured out for the batch we're gonna be making so in this particular batch it's gonna be a medium-sized batch not uh, it might end up being like a, a little over a quart I have a quarter cup of brown sugar here I have some uh, rosemary and thyme back here those are three tablespoons each of those I have a tablespoon of Chinese five spice. I have a tables or a teaspoon of ground cloves, and I have one and a half teaspoons of Jamaican allspice. It's kind of similar. The allspice has a little. It almost tastes like cloves, but there's a little uh, something else in there. So I went ahead and added that. So really, our first step in this is just to get this in the pot that we're going to be cooking in. And uh, my next step, I already have these, uh, the habaneros. I'm rolling with 12 habaneros. I have one and a half uh, green onions that are kind of chopped into smaller pieces. And then I have about an onion, uh, you know, one uh, red onion. So anyway, I'm going to get my food processor out and start uh, putting this stuff together. I have to do this in a couple batches. One thing I forgot that we're rolling with because I had it in the oven was I got some uh, roasted garlic there. That is about uh, 13 cloves of that. So we're just going to start adding this stuff to the uh, food processor. Now you might want to use gloves. I'm not going to. But uh, I don't think it's going to be that hot. I don't have them. I haven't cut into them yet or anything. The habaneros. So it looks like that's all going to fit. So I got that in there. Throw in my garlic. And I am going to throw in just a little bit of oil just to kind of. Just so it can at least bind to something in there. No other reason than that. So we're going to get that going. Alright, so we got this stuff pretty well blended up here. So uh, we're just going to take this and add this. Now you're probably going to look at this mixture and say, that doesn't look too Jamaican-y. Don't worry about it. It's going to get there. So 
We're going to add that to our dry ingredients. Alright, so that's going to be our dry ingredients. Now, I am going to start off with, and this is going to be about an eighth of a cup vinegar. And now we are ready to uh, move on over to the stove. This is where it's going to really start taking shape. So uh, let's let's go over here and check it out by the stove. And we are at the stove. Now it doesn't look that good yet. It will. Our next thing we're going to add is going to be our orange marmalade. And this is the regular oil size, this 18 ounce jar. This happens to be a Walmart value brand, so I could save a little money. So anyway, we got that. I'm going with an eighth of a cup of soy sauce. Now the ginger I'm using is uh, one of these squeeze paste gingers. I'm going to put about four ounces in there. This is eight ounces, so half of that's four ounces. And salt is going to be to taste, but I'm going to start it off with, this is going to be about three teaspoons, tablespoons of salt. So I got my burner just now going and I'm gonna let this cook for a while now depending on how it looks uh, that's kinda gonna determine how much honey we put in there it should only take a little bit of honey in this I am gonna probably add a little bit more vinegar uh, but in the description below I will have how much of everything I put in here because I will be measuring it as I go along even though I typically just whip stuff together anyway so we're gonna pick this up hell I'm gonna let this go for probably an hour so uh, we'll pick it up in an hour and see how things are looking it's kind of been cooking down for about 40 minutes so far and uh, looks like it's thickening up so I'm gonna kinda oh yeah that is some good stuff it does look like it needs a little salt, so I'm going to add salt to taste, and I am going to put another, I'm going to put a half a cup of vinegar in there, so that's going to put me just under a cup for the entire batch, and honey, I am going to go with three quarters of a cup. So these are going to be my last ingredients. Now, I may add a little bit more vinegar if I think it needs a little bit more of a tang. But as of right now, our only thing to do now is to sit back, watch a little Welcome to Sweetie Pies, and uh, that's going to be it. I'll check back in about 30 minutes. We should be done or close to it by then. I'm not sure if you can see the consistency, but it's kind of a, a thicker sauce. And there's still a lot of that uh, rosemary that's kind of in there. Hopefully you can see kind of the consistency of this. I'm just going to go ahead and jar this up. Actually, this ended up making, this looks like it's going to be about a quart and a half. But I'm going to try to uh, get another shot, kind of, of what this stuff kind of looks like when it's going to be a little bit cooler, because it's not, it's not, I guess you could eat it hot, but uh, I'm going to let this sit out, but I'm going to, I'm going to get a little closer uh, look at this uh, once I let this cool down so you can 
kind of see what it looks like. I know I repeated myself two times and I'm not editing that shit out. But anyway, um, I'll see you back in a bit. This uh, Jamaican jerk glaze, uh, chilling out for a while, and it came out perfect. I am going to just brush this on some, on some fish just so you can kind of see the consistency of it. Not sure if you can actually see that from there. So it's kind of looking like that. So it would be perfect on chicken, but I'm just going to go ahead and taste it with fish because that's what I had that was cooked already. This stuff is perfect. Now, one thing I forgot to mention was I am wearing Rivet Gardner's sweatshirt he gave me. So if you've been wondering the whole time, why is this guy got Marines on his page and he's wearing army stuff? It was a gift from somebody. So anyway, again, Rivet, I appreciate the sweatshirt as always. As far as this goes, try knocking some of this stuff out if you like some spicy food. I mean, this is excellent. Only one other thing I want you to do, and that's to comment, I guess three other things. Comment subscribe, and check out some more of my videos.